Facendo il maccarone al cane cello. E col capretto, con la carne del capretto. Violetta first makes the sugo or sauce. She cubes the meat from a kid goat leg, which is an alternative to lamb in Basilicata. She softens the garlic clove in olive oil. The parsley comes from her balcony. While the meat browns, Violetta peels and chops some fresh tomatoes. She adds this to the meat and leaves it to simmer for a few minutes. Husband Giovanni adds a bottle of homemade tomato passata to the mixture. For the macaroni, Violetta uses finely ground durum wheat flour or semola rimacinata. She adds some warm water. She uses the tips of her fingers to mix it in and make the dough. Violetta says the secret to good pasta dough is to knead it for 30 minutes. The iron spatula is called a rasoia in this part of Basilicata. Violetta cuts up the dough and rolls it out into cigarette width strands. She pinches off 10 centimeter size lengths. To make the macaroni, Violetta uses a stick from a broom tree. It's a broomstick. This is traditionally what was used before the metal rod or ferro. She places the stick at a slight angle over the pasta and rolls it. Violetta says don't hold the pasta tube tight or it won't come off the stick. This is an extra slow roll. You can see the pasta twists around the stick to form a tube. Violetta cooks the pasta in boiling salted water for three or four minutes. She doesn't pour the pasta water down the sink. She uses it to rinse her dishes in the traditional way. She layers the pasta with grated pecorino cheese and the tomato sauce and serves the meat as a second course. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.